state election and its officials to steal or overthrow the vote? Is that part of job duties at DOJ? Well, we turn to someone who knows something about this, both from working at DOJ and arguing a lot of court cases, former acting solicitor general, Neil Kotchell. Uh, welcome back. I put that question to you. Uh, yeah, there's no world in which overthrowing an election hurry is part of your job duties. Um, look, I, I worked at the Justice Department twice. Um, everyone at the Justice Department knows there's a strict prohibition against employees engaging in political activity as part of their job. So leave aside the engaging coup. Just, you know, uh, the claim that Meadows made today is, well, there's no way to have a line between politics and the regular work of a government official. And that's just totally wrong. There is no Donald Trump exception to the Hatch Act, which is the act that forbids political activity by people at the Justice Department. And with respect to Meadows, you know, I think the most important thing, and this is why he lost his removal motion, the judge in a 49-page opinion said the Constitution cuts out the executive branch from one thing, which is presidential elections, for the most important of reasons. Otherwise, you'd use your power as an incumbent to install yourself and keep yourself in power. That's why the founders did it. That's, of course, exactly what Donald Trump tried to do with Meadows, with Clark, and the like. And to me, the most significant point of all these court actions on removals over the last 48 hours is you're seeing, Ari, the conflict between Trump and his aides, like Meadows and Clark. Like, Clark is basically saying in his filing, Trump told me to do this. And he's blaming Trump. And these kinds of conflicts are only going to increase over time.